Welcome one, welcome all, and welcome to an honest review of 2004's Blade Trinity. We've made it to the end of the Blade movies. It's a big one. It could be the worst, or it could be incredible. Let's find out. It's Blade versus fucking Dracula. Let's go. And we begin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As reviews do. <laughs> what really got me immediately, I don't know if you noticed it, but it bugged me throughout the film. The woman cannot walk properly. The there's something, there's something like, there's, there's something yeah. very tiny Tim from down the lane about her legs. And every time she walks in this film, I don't know what it is. She's just a bit cock-legged. They're outside. They do this stupid, like, over-the-top walk into this big, huge pyramid. But then it got a bit silly because they just move one rock and the whole middle of the thing crumbles. And conveniently, there's a well-lit room with ladders leaning, <laughs> leading down to it in place <laughs> just to help them. Good job. They have lasted for, like, 7,000 yeah, years. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And this is, like, our introduction to Dracula, who is in his, like, Dracula form, but for the most of the film is Dominic Purcell. Absolutely fucking Lincoln Burroughs. That annoyed me. When he comes out, the ground and there's like strobe lighting and and he comes up looks absolutely quality but then he's the guy from prison break as the main boss and i just can't get behind it especially when you've got fucking triple h then you've got this idiot as the main boss his name's drake drake himself would have been more intimidating than this guy <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> no way. Not, not as much as the drake though <laughs> But he's hardly in the film, really, is he? That's true, yeah. There is a scene, though, where he proves that he is a bad guy, where he yeets a baby <laughs> into the fucking sky. <laughs> you know what I can't stand in this film? Danica. Danica Talos. Just her mouth irritates you. <laughs> her yes. mouth is ridiculous, God, isn't it? it's so fucking annoying. Her lips are always shaking. She looks like her fucking smile is a frown upside down. Wouldn't I can't it, explain. Hang on, if it was a frown upside down, wouldn't it be a smile? No, mate, it would be an upside down frown. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue it, with that logic. Hang on, yeah. hang on, hang on. I, I think that's a smile. <laughs> There's another scene in this film where their really over-technical base gets invaded really, really Again, easily. Again, the same as fucking Blade 2. It leads to a pretty cool fight scene, but Whistler. Let me talk about Whistler Here we go, for a your minute. best mate. No, because it's like Hobo with a shotgun in this film, <laughs> isn't it? He can take on a whole SWAT team, get pinged in the leg, and still go around shutting down every computer, picking people off from a mile away while they're using automatic weapons and can't fucking hit him. And then he just blows up the whole building. The funniest part of this whole thing of Whistler's death is where Blade is standing on the dock. <laughs> 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 yeah. But I do have to ask, why is Ryan Reynolds great in everything that he does? He is just the best thing about this entire film, isn't he? Yeah. This character is just fucking Weird Wilson, really. Got the same mannerisms, the same, like, wit. It just works. I know people hate this film because they went a bit overly comedic with it. Works? Yeah, it works, definitely. But they also, they, they go, we found this bit of his armour, and using this, oh. we can recreate <laughs> exactly what he looks like and his entire backstory. Yeah. And it's fucking fully correct as well. Like, <laughs> yeah, it is. The one little glint and they get his face right. Like, They've got like <laughs> a tiny little shard of his arm, haven't they? Like... <laughs> Danica, she gets really fucking annoyed when they're back at their little technological vampire base in a skyscraper or something. She punches a table. Why is the table electric? Oh my god, I, was, I have that point written down. Why what does it spark? What the fuck's going on? I went back like three times. Like the rest of this table isn't electric. Why is that bit electric? <laughs> Just a table. We haven't even spoke about Jessica Biel yet. Please, let's talk about the her. The introduction we get to her is a bit fucking weird, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, she's think it's odd. <laughs> she pretends to have a baby to lure some vampires down into. the the subway. Well, she does, but she does it with a garlic breathing baby. <laughs> like, what's this? What's Who's geared this up? What scenario are you going to have to be in? Well, I suppose this one, to be honest. <laughs> so clearly I'm chatting shit. It fucking works. But the annoying thing is, they have all these technical weapons that they show off later. Instead of using all these, like, really technical weapons, she created a baby that just sprays a bit of garlic in there. Oh, yeah, this. fucking hell. Why, why don't you use your fucking UV bombs or UV arrows? Just kill him. Yeah. I mean, in this, she's meant to be like Whistler's daughter which is like mentioned once and never ever 
talked about again at all. Yeah, man, this is so weird. But I'll tell you what I do want to talk about, the dog. The bit I really loved is when it goes out the window, the little Pomeranian goes out the window. I didn't like it because obviously it's a dog flying out the window to its death. But what I did love is the sound effect. <laughs> There's just like loads of yelping. <laughs> it's like... Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> but we're back. Oh, and then we get back to sword fighting, even though we've got guns and bows and fucking UV lights everywhere to kill vampires. There's an awful lot of sword fighting in this. I mean, the final showdown is like Blade against Drake with swords. But then I love that the other final showdown is like Ryan Reynolds against Triple H and they're just smacking the shit out of each other in like broken <laughs> glass. How Triple H dies there looks cool as fuck. He falls through like the grill thing, doesn't he? And he's mm. like, but he like falls through it because he's disintegrating. Yeah, I quite sick. like that. Mm. That one looked good. There are a few good like deaths in this one. Dracula's was shit though, I think. That, that, well, the whole ending dies, was shit. His, his heart turns black. Like everything about him from the inside turns black. All the rest of the vampires in the world die. And then suddenly Dracula is able to speak again. And then he dies again. Like, I, I don't understand. <laughs> but then the ending, it gets even worse than that. Because Blade is just lying there. Mm -hmm. And then Ryan Reynolds and all that lot, like, hover over him. And you think, oh, they're probably going to take him away so that he doesn't, you know, because the SWAT team are back in the building at this point. And they don't. They just leave him there. But then we get, like, this cheesy fucking narration that just says, but Blade didn't die because Blade's... <laughs> a half-breed, which meant his heart just slowed down until he was well enough that it sped back up, and then he just drives off on a motorbike. It's a, yeah, it's like, so basically, Blade's gone to sleep for a bit until the world needs him again. But then, no, how, why does the world need Blade again? Because all the vampires are dead now off this fucking virus thing they've made from Dracula's blood. So what do they need Blade for? That is a great point. Exactly. But I like this film. I like this one. I do. I'm going to shock you both. This is my favourite of the Blitz. Is it? Do you know yeah. what? I'm not, I do you know what? I'm kind of with you. It's on entertainment value. Yeah. I like Ryan Reynolds in it. I think yeah. Triple H is quite a good character. To be honest, I haven't been too keen on any of the three bad guys in any of the, yeah, the three true. films. They're all a bit weak. They're poor casting, I think. But I enjoy the humour of the first more. Alright, yeah. I think the humour in the first one yeah, is a lot definitely. better. It's more fun to watch than the other two, I think, for me, yeah. anyway. There's a lot yeah. more comedy yeah, involved a lot in more. this one, yeah. It kind of feels a lot more like the newer Marvel films in terms of, like, its tone. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I definitely... Uh, I would agree this is the best one out of the three. I would say this one, then number one, and then number two is by far the worst <laughs> It's a me. big fucking number two, like... <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple things in this that I wish they pushed a little bit further, though. There's this whole concept they bring in at the start that Blade is now seen as, like a criminal and the world thinks that vampires are this kind of false sort of myth just to make Blade appear as a murderer. So there's people out in the world who are like dressing as vampires, luring him in to kill them just to make him look like a dickhead <laughs> just to get Blade <laughs> exposed to the police. But that was a cool concept. I kind of like the idea that they ran with that, but they just dropped it like 25 minutes in and never picked it up again. But no, overall, I really loved yeah, it. Yeah, man, it was great. It was really good. I do. I still think the first one is, is a little better than this one. Do you prefer to to this one? Uh, no, this one's over two for sure. One, three, two. Two is definitely last. And I'm glad that after our conversation last week that you've come to your senses. It took you a week to admit that me and Connor were right, but I'm mm -hmm. proud of you. I didn't say you. you were right. I just said it's not the best of the three films. You're right, it wasn't. And thank you for agreeing <laughs> with me. <laughs> My opinion is that it's still good. But just the worst of the bunch. Yeah, which is which is right, fair. Right, okay, no, that's fine. That's, I mean, fair, I'll you, take that's that. fine. You make a yeah, you make a great point. Thanks for agreeing. <laughs> and like, I definitely agree. I would just put three, one and then two. <laughs> Well, thank you to the two right honourable gentlemen of Unleash the Gold. Please go and chat in the comments below about the Blade Trilogy or Blade Trinity in particular. There we go. Blade Trilogy done. Cheers. Thank you so much, Connor. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> that, that's how it ends.